Thanks. Welcome back, everybody. Julia Diamond is here, pretty in pink. Travel writer, and you are with Word Travels, which is on OLN. You're uh, celebrating the second season already. That's right. It airs on Sunday, and we're very excited. So people who haven't seen the show, give us a little synopsis about what it is. It's a show about two travel writers. I'm a travel writer, and my co-host, Robin Esrock, also a travel writer. And it shows the behind-the-scenes reality of what it's like to do our job which is traveling all around the world and showing is it do you highlight only the positive or do you get into the odd uh, the bizarre and the quirky as well uh, we both have our different beats. Robin does uh, adventure-based, and I like quir quirky and cultural stuff. And okay. I like to throw in a little bit of politics and human rights abuses here and there when, when I'm allowed. Good for when you. I, when I can. Yeah. Um, so we focus on different things, and we've been to 13 countries for this season, and it's it's been pretty great. I won't lie. You obviously <laughs> have a real passion for travel. Here's a look right now in action in word travels. Travel riders cover different beats. I tackle the quirky, cultural side of travel. I find edgy, risk-taking stories. The trick is to find stories that inspire. And the stories that sell. That's so great. The things you must be able to see and do. So what's it like? Do you get to decide where you're going or are you told, you know, cover this, now this? What's your agenda like? Um, in terms of the show, we decide as a team, you know, where, where should we go? What's off the beaten track? We really like, like picking destinations that are, you know, not the most common. So this season we've done Sri Lanka, Maldives. Uh, we went to Chernobyl in Ukraine. Wow. So some places that you don't normally see on and typical travel shows. There we are again, taking a look at some of the scenes, that uh, upcoming scenes, of course, for season two. Is there a place or sneak peek you can give us as what you enjoyed most? Of the whole season? Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's so many moments. Um, Sri Lanka, which is our first episode, uh, we saw some really insane festivals. Uh, there are some things is going on. Is this it right here? This is the festival right now. It's called uh, the Kataragama Festival, and every year over 100,000 pilgrims, Hindu, Buddhist, and Muslim pilg pilgrims come to celebrate this festival. It's phenomenal, and we were one of the, we were some of the only tourists there, so that's what makes Sri Lanka so special. It's just that feeling of being able to discover something that's relatively undiscovered. Um, and we stumbled upon a festival that um, I don't want to give out too many details, mm -hmm. but it was pretty graphic when we just say I that. heard it's something that involves <laughs> blood. There's Is that some it? blood involved, yes. Um, people work themselves into a trance, and then it's almost like a Coney Island freak show, frankly. Really? And we were sitting there just mesmerized. Wow, so. I am intrigued for that and more. Just check out the show. Season 2 of Word Travels premieres, as you mentioned, this Sunday, 8.30 p.m. on OLN. Check OLN.ca for more information on showtimes, or just t keep in touch with Julia's travels at the traveljunkie.ca as well as the metro That's you're right. very busy yeah very well traveled indeed it's Absolutely. a great job so is our jennifer valentine she's at monster jam this morning jan how's it going hey dina so you what we get